Dr. Ko back from simplemedschool.com. We're going to finish up with third degree AV blocks. Third degree, you have complete AV dissociation, meaning you have your atria up here, your ventricles down here, and there's no communication between those two. There's no communication. So basically, the atria are doing their own thing. The ventricles are doing their own thing. This is actually the most dangerous out of all the AV blocks. I would call it the black belt, third degree black belt AV block. Why? Because if the atria and the ventricle are doing their own thing, this can again result in V-fib. And remember, we talked about V-fib. V-fib is where the ventricles are doing their own thing, they're going crazy, and boom, got a shock. So there's a block between the atria and the ventricle. So how does this look on the EKG tracing? You're going to see P waves, boom, boom, boom. You're going to see QRSs, boom, boom, boom. But they're not going to be communicating. There's no relationship between the two. And so typically on the EKG, you'll see someone, they're going to be extremely bradycardic, extremely slow heartbeat. And that's because the ventricles, they just naturally live at a slower rate. And so you'll see heart rates in the 20s, 30s, 40s. What's the treatment? So what is the treatment for third degree AV block? Like I said, it's the most dangerous. It's the most serious. So what we use is a pacemaker. Pacemaker usually put on the, they usually put it right on the chest and they have these little electrical wires and they put it boom right there in the ventricle. And now the ventricle has an electrical rhythm coming from the pacemaker, so it's not going to go into that crazy V-fib. So why don't they put it in the SA node? Well, one of the big reasons, remember, there's a block between the SA node and the ventricles, the AV block. So if you were to put a pacemaker wire, boom, up here in the atria, it still would not go through into here. So you need to put it at the ventricles. Guys, that wraps it up for AV Blocks. Go to simplemedschool.com. I'll meet you over there.